Okay, I'd like to welcome everyone to the uh, special meeting of the Putnam County Legislature called by the clerk at the request of the chairman to adopt for the adoption of the 2019 budget. If we could rise from the Pledge of Allegiance, Legislative Speech the Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. It's to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. If I could call on Legislator Alabama for the legislative prayer. We seek blessings and guidance on the tasks before us. Bless our efforts with clear insight, our deliberations with wisdom, our work with clarity and accuracy, and our decisions with impartiality. Thank you. We got roll call. District 1, Legislative Switchmare. Present. District 2, Legislative Goldman. Present. District 3, Legislative Agnesio. Present. District 4, Legislative Nasarino. Present. District 5, Legislative Albano. Present. District 6, Legislative Yonke. Present. District 8, Legislative Sage. Present. District 9, Legislative Sullivan. Present. District 7, Chairman Castellano. Present. Okay, uh, moving on to item number four is the pre filed resolutions from the uh, Budget and Finance. Committee. 4A. Uh, 4A is the dues of uh, books and supplements uh, going from 17000 to 16000 a difference of 1000 going uh, down. All in favor? Uh, any discussion? I'm sorry. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Item uh, 4B. Putnam County Tourism Promotional Agency. It's an increase in matching funds of $3,192. If you've uh, received some more money from the state and we're uh, matching those funds for the benefit of the Putnam County Tourism Agency. Any discussion on this item? It's actually a good thing that the state's giving us an additional $3,192. Uh, I'm glad for that. Thank you. Item number five. Yeah, we'll definitely put it to good use, I'm sure. Any other comments? All in favor? Aye. 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 Item 4C is Highways and Parks. This is the uh, farmer at Tilly Foster Farm. Uh, we have a motion in front of us to move the $50,000 into sub-contingency as, uh, uh, as we continue to look for the right person for the job and, and find the right job description to fit the needs uh, of the farm as we do need a farmer, and it's a fantastic location uh, to go to, and they're doing great things, and I think this is a great idea. Second motion. Uh, any discussion on the item? Uh, Legislative switch well. I'm looking forward to the expansion of this. We can't call it a garden anymore, because it's a lot bigger than that. And what we're doing is we're growing a lot of food for our senior programs, and I think Farm to Table, that's, that's a great benefit for our seniors, so I'm very happy for that. Great point, thank you. Uh, yeah, I was up there many times and I was really impressed with the little patch that they planted. What they produced out of there was just amazing. So you can see the potential in the future. And, and that's the whole idea of the farm. It's the right direction. So I, I support this. Thank you. Yes, uh, Carl, are you familiar with how many pounds of zucchini they have? I know they produced about $15,000. But yeah, zucchini, I think. They had a huge amount of zucchini that we saying. They brought it down, cooked it every which way for the seniors. Yeah. Senior Center, 200 pounds or more. It's great. Oh, I think it was 2,000 pounds. Was it? Yeah, it was, it was a big number. Yeah. Wow. And kale. Yeah, senior like the kale. Good stuff. <laughs> it's a great use of the uh, Putnam County property here. So, unless there's any other discussion, all in favor? All right. All right. Thank you. 4D is the SPCA. Uh, we are increasing the contribution by uh, a total of $10,000, bringing the, uh, the county contribution to the SPCA to $50,000. That's the pre filed resolution in the matter. I'll open it up to any discussion on this item. That's like sale about. I mean, this program costs a lot more than $50,000. They do fundraisers, uh, I mean, they do, they do something for the, uh, for the community and the county that actually saves us money in a lot of different ways. So I, I think I support this. Thank you. After re reviewing uh, minutes of the SPC, SPCA, I, I have reservations about it, so I'm, I'm, I'd ask for a roll call on this, please. Yes, we'll do that. Any other? Uh, yeah, I have a comment. Uh, 
Let's just so about the SBCA, we were uh, lucky enough on Friday night, we went to their fundraising dinner. And uh, it was quite impressive and moving to see the 250 people there that are there to support the SBCA in our county and uh, getting up and talking about all the good work that they do to help protect animals, uh, dogs and cats and other animals in our county. And as Legislator Albano mentioned, they also do uh, take a lot of work off of the shoulders of the police agencies who are not equipped to handle uh, those kinds of situations. So, you know, their, their money is well, our money is well spent uh, in providing it to them to fund uh, the good work that they do. Let's see, yes, I'm a legislative seller in the state. It's, this is a, uh, it's a small budget, um, but they have come to us just in recent years, and each year they assume more and more responsibility and take more onto the belt in order to help fight against cruelty to animals. And that's something I hold near and dear to my heart, so I respect them for the work that they do. Any, any other discussion? Um, yes, let's say Sage. Um, I know that they do a great job. Um, all, all of our outside agencies just done their job and they're all um, activities that we want to support. However, this year in our budget, we didn't really, we didn't increase any outside agency. And um, I don't want to separate one over another, so I will be voting on this. Um, they, they do a lot of work in Putnam Valley. They're on a dog control officer, and they're very supportive of the town and the residents in the town, that would be supporting us. Thank you. Yes, I, I totally support the SBC, <coughs> so I'll be voting in favor of this this evening. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'll, I guess I'll have my final comments. Uh, I did go to the dinner the other night and was overwhelmed by all the supporters they had and all the great stories of what these people do for us. Um, you know, as Putnam County is where the country begins, and there are certainly uh, a need for the ASPCA here. SPCA uh, to do what they do, and, and I certainly appreciate them being supportive of this as well. So, with that, unless there's any other comments, I'll call for a roll call vote. Legislator Adlizio? Yes. Legislator Albano? Yes. Legislator Goldman? Yes. Legislator Yonke? No. Legislator Nazarino? Yes. Legislator Sage? No. Legislator Suchamara? Yes. Legislator Sullivan? Yes. Chairman Castellano? Yes. Motion carried. Thank you. Moving on to item uh, 4E, it's from the Health Department to adjust the Department of uh, Environmental Protection Contracts, removing uh, an item from uh, one line to the appropriate line. This is a $5,000 move with zero fiscal impact. We're just putting it in the right category uh, from the original budget. Zero fiscal impact. Any questions or comments? With that, all in favor? Aye. 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 Item 4F, um, same issue, health department to adjust the public health emergency preparedness over time. Again, we're just moving it into the right category. We're moving 5,200 to the right category. It's just moving money, uh, zero fiscal impact. Any discussion or comment? With that, all in favor? Aye. Uh, item 4G is Legal Aid Society uh, to adjust the state aid indigent legal services uh, increase from $94,564. Again, this is where we have more state aid to help our Legal Aid Society and, and the good work that they do for the residents of Putnam County. I'll open it up to any discussion on the item. Just to piggyback on what you said, this is an increase in state amount of 94564 And uh, again, this is an agency that does good service to the people for the people of Putnam County, and we're happy as to see that the state has come through and helped to um, for this agency to continue to help the people that need it the most. Thank you. Any other discussion on the side? With that, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Um, four H. Um, Contingency fund. We have a motion to move uh, from the contingency back to the Putnam County Industrial Development 
corporation, the contracts line, we're taking the money out of sub-contingency and, and giving it back to the Putnam County Industri Industrial Development Corporation. They had initially requested this money be in sub-contingency in the original budget, and at the present time, um, we've decided to move it back out because they've met all the qualifications and needs. I'll open up the, any discussion. This is zero fiscal impact upon the county. Yes, I'm just going to switch more. I just want to commend the Industrial Development Court. They've come a long way, and they have a Any other discussion on the item? Yeah, I would agree. I've uh, continued with the good work that these people have been doing for us recently and look forward to better things to come in the future as well. No other discussion? All in favor? Uh, item 4i is the Cornell Cooperative Extension. We have an increase in the county contribution of $5,000. I will open it up to discussion. Hold the as we all know, Cornell Cooperative. Cooperative extension is indispensable in Putnam County. The increase in the county contribution will help the program related expenses along with updated technology needs, such as computers that are very sorely needed. So it also should be noted that this is not for any fringe benefits within Cornell. Thank you. This is a tough decision for me because I. I respect everything that Cornell does, as I do for all our nonprofit agencies. Um, but I will be voting no for this. I the county executive proposed the budget with level funding, um, and at the committee meeting there was there was no overture to ask or make a case and provide rationale for an increase. So therefore, I will not be supporting this. Increase. Thank you. Any other comments? Mr. Say Alabama? I was on the fence with this, you know, for the same reasons we didn't make any other changes, but they do do a tremendous job and they offer a great service to the county, so I think they're going to be changing my vote to yes. Thank you. Mr. Sage. I, I also wrestle with this. I know they do a fantastic job, and uh, but I have to stick to, uh, you know, all of our nonprofits do a great job, okay. and I really think that the extensions phenomenal um, however I'd like to keep the level funding for all of our outside agencies this year so I will not be voting in favor okay. thank you any other comments okay. um, you know again all the agencies do such tremendous work for us I certainly do uh, appreciate Cornell and the rest of the agencies uh, but I think we, we can we're gonna vote on this how's that okay. Call for a roll, roll call vote. Legislator Edmondson. Yes. Legislator Albana. Yes. Legislator Goldman. Yes. Legislator Yonke. Yes. Legislator Nasserino. No. Legislator Sage. No. Legislator Scuccinero. No. Legislator Sullivan. Yes. Chairman Castellano. Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Moving on to item number five is other business. Does any of the legislators here have any other businesses they would like to bring forward? Uh, yes. Legislator yes. Sullivan. Yes. I'd like to uh, bring up uh, a proposed, I guess, a resolution to reduce the cost of a vehicle purchase for the Consumer Affairs Department. They had requested to purchase an all-wheel drive vehicle, and after discussing with uh, several different people, I think that a front wheel drive vehicle would be suit their needs and as a result of that we could save five thousand dollars so I propose a resolution to reduce the amount from twenty five thousand to twenty thousand for the purchase of a new vehicle. We'll be making that motion. I'll second that motion. Thank you. Seconded by the pleasure of Senator Serena. Opening it up for discussion on this item. Sounds like a solid uh, resolution. Thank you. Legislator Sage. Well, I'd like to commend uh, Legislator Sullivan for thinking, uh, forward thinking, and thinking of creative new ways to uh, lower the budget to allow for outside funding. Don't let it go to your head. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great idea. 
Any other discussion on the side? Um, yeah, I, I too commended the legislator uh, Sullivan for bringing this to the attention last week as, as we discussed it. Um, I, I know it's been proposed and uh, you know, <coughs> I would have liked to have heard a little more from them as to, as to their need for this vehicle, but it, it makes uh, total sense. Uh, but I am pretty much on the fence with this one, I believe. I, I, I like the idea of an all vehicle for the county employees to make sure they get to where they need to be. With that, unless there's any other discussion, do we have a roll call vote? Legislator Adnizio. Yes. Legislator Alban. Yes. Legislator Bowman. Yes. Legislator Yankee. Yes. Legislator Massimino. Yes. Legislator Sage. Yes. Legislator Scuccinaro. Yes. Legislator Sullivan. Yes. Chairman Castellano. No. Motion carries. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Unless there's any other items by any legislators? I'd like to, to make a motion to go into a brief recess as if we go over the budget with our auditor. Uh, can I have a second to? Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Let's take a 10 minute break or so to get our numbers uh, situated and then we'll come back. Thank you. I'd like to make a motion to come out of recess. Second. No, I need to call for us. Okay. Just call for a vote. Call for water. Call to water. One motion to come out of recess. Can't make a motion. Okay. All right, we'll pull us back to order here. Okay, uh, with that, item number six on the agenda here is to offset the changes to the, uh, to the budget uh, by use of the fund balance as recommended by the Commissioner of Finance. Uh, we are going to move the fund balance from uh, $3,209,479 to $3,221,000. $671, uh, an approximate difference of $12,192. Any discussion on the item? Uh, can I have a second to my second? Second. Many seconds. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. All right, with that, we're moving on to item number uh, 7A is the approval of the 2019 budget resolution uh, be resolved that the Putnam County Legislature hereby approves the 2019 budget resolutions as pre-filed by the Budget and Finance Committee and amended by the Legislature on October 30th, 2018, and be it further resolved that the individual votes of the budget uh, resolution <laughs> be made a part of this resolution. Any discussion? Make a motion. Second. Seconded by Legislator Alabama. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Sure. Item 7B is a, is a resolution adopting the budget for the fiscal year 2019 commencing on January 1st, 2019, making the appropriations for the operation of the county government and establishing the rates of compensation for officers and employees for the fiscal year of 2019. Whereas Putnam County Legislature has met and considered a tentative budget as submitted by the county executive and, and held a public hearing thereon pursuant to both Article 7.04B4 of Putnam County Charter and Section 359 of the county law in the state of New York. And whereas the legislature has made certain adjustments to the tentative budget as submitted by the county executive and included as part of this budget adoption. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Putnam County Legislature hereby adopts the tentative budget as amended by this legislature, which sets forth the, the appropriations for the, for the objects and purposes as specified, and further establishes the rate of compensation to be paid provided that said tentative budget, as amended, does not exceed the tax <coughs> cap as provided by state law, and it is further resolved that this action takes effect on January 1st, 2019. I will make that motion. Second. Do have a second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. With that, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll make the motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Thank you very much.